<laughs> the signature clap. So, I am I'm not entirely sure if I'm actually going to do anything with what I'm saying right now and recording, but I want to say it. And I might do something with it, and if you're seeing this, then I did do something with it. Um, so I want to talk about my uh, mental health, um, because it's not something I'm comfortable talking about, um, to people, and so if I'm talking to myself, then it makes it easier. Uh, <laughs> but it's something I do want to get comfortable talking about. But it's also something I don't want to get comfortable talking about because I have a lot of stigmas I have uh, against myself. Um, <laughs> and that's not good. And I want to get rid of those because I shouldn't. Because mental health is an important aspect to lives and it shouldn't be as taboo as it is. Uh, and it is kind of a fading thing. It is becoming a more open thing that people talk about. But, and that's great. And that's awesome. And I'm so glad that's happening. And I totally agree with that. And I, I don't think I have stigmas against other people. But I just have them against me. And I don't know, I guess that's internalized oppression I don't know um but yeah and uh, gosh and here it is I don't want to talk about it I'm shelling myself up because I know people are going to see this and I don't want people to think that I am saying these things for a reason for no for um attention that's my stigma that's my issue because i really don't like when people do that and i don't want to come off in a way that makes it seem like i'm doing that um And sometimes that gets so bad to where even though I know I'm not doing that, I think I'm doing that. And so I don't want to talk about it because I think that I'm doing it for attention and I don't like people that do that. And so then I don't like myself. Um, so <laughs> that's kind of my main block for talking about it and posting about it mainly publicly uh <laughs> okay so yeah i um, i'm gonna keep talking and i probably won't post this but i might and i'm gonna try to push myself to post it because i'm because i, I don't know i'm <sighs> okay so, anxiety, yeah, that's where we're going, it's cliche, and I'm ready for it, um, <laughs> it is a thing that I've been dealing with for my entire life, pretty much, um, recently, uh, within this year I started going to therapy because I was trying really 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 hard to get over it just by myself because I didn't know what was going on and I didn't know what to do about it uh, other than just get over it because I didn't know that it was an actual problem and wasn't just a me thing and so I started going to therapy because I was getting better and I was um, brute forcing my way through it and then I relapsed because of an event and I got worse 
all over again and I was like okay there's something wrong like I can't do this and so uh, um, now I'm in therapy and um, even more recently I have started taking medication and it is helping a, a lot I think um, and so <laughs> that's cool and I'm glad that I went even though it was scary and going to therapy itself for the longest time made me really nervous um, it is helping now because <laughs> Uh, and that's just like sometimes to get better you need to get a little worse <laughs> which doesn't sound very good and that's probably the wrong wording but if you're scared of change and the thing you need to do to get better that you know could help you to get better is a change and that's scary and that's something you don't want to do because even though what's happening in the now that's causing you to want to change is bad at least you know what to expect and it's familiar and you're used to it and so it's okay but it's not okay and you you shouldn't settle because you're scared of what might happen if you don't get better or if you do get better or the uncertainty of something changing because the possibility that something might get better is so worth it because you deserve to be as happy as you can and you shouldn't rob yourself of that opportunity you sh you should at least try and if you try it and it's not for you and it's not right and it's not good and you don't like it then you don't have to do it anymore and you can stop but you should try you should try it because it might help and it might make you feel better and I know it's really hard to think in a way like that and it's really hard to to step over the the boundary because it hurts it hurts at first and that's enough to deter you from doing it And I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but if you have an opportunity to help yourself, you should take it because you deserve help and you, you can't do it by yourself, no matter how much you want to. You can go far by yourself, but why struggle by yourself when you can, when you can just struggle a little less with someone else, with someone helping you, that you deserve that. <laughs> Like, when stuff gets real bad, you need to, it's small things, like, mental illnesses are so freaking stupid and dumb and sucky because there's no, there's nothing that can 100% cure them. And that is a really, that really fucking sucks. It's a very hard aspect to it. And 
I can't I can't say that that's not sake because it is it's awful but you you get better at dealing with it at coping with it like it's never gonna go away completely and it's always gonna suck but you aren't always gonna suck at handling it and you're gonna get super freaking good at it and so when it does come along you can handle it and you can deal with it and you know that you can do it and that day is gonna come and that's enough to keep going because it sucks it sucks maybe it sucks right now uh, but it's going you're going to get better you the essence of you without any issue without any problem that you is going to get smarter and better and more experienced and wiser and that's cool and you're cool or you're gonna be cool maybe you're a loser right now and that's fine because you're cool somewhere somehow sometime some place you're cool <laughs> and that's enough I have no idea what I'm saying, and I hope it makes sense to someone. And I changed topics like five times, I think, but yeah, I hope that's enough, and that's good enough, and get my thought vomit out there because that's exactly what this was I have no idea what I'm saying uh, and I have no idea if it helped it did I think I think it helped me and that's that's enough for me and if it could entertain or assist anyone else and that is freaking awesome and that makes it double cool and <laughs> thank you for listening to this if you did and I probably gotta cut out the parts where I was crying because no one wants to listen to that and if you're like but you didn't cry then I succeeded at cutting it out anyways i'm pretending to hold a lollipop and i don't know why just in my mind's eye i'm holding one i guess uh it's 5 a.m and i have a headache so thank you and good night